Conception rates to artificial insemination could be severely reduced if semen is handled improperly before or after thawing. Proper semen handling requires being comfortable with a liquid nitrogen tank so that you can work quickly and effectively to avoid damaging frozen semen. A liquid nitrogen tank is a double wall container in which two tanks are fused together with a fiberglass neck. A hinge lid covers the tank canister area and a styrofoam cork fits loosely in the tank neck. Stainless steel canisters hold the semen canes in the tank and have handles that rest on the outside of the tank. Most tanks will have a numbered ring where the handles rest. Keeping a frequently updated inventory can help you find the straws you want to retrieve in a timely manner. Having a detailed map or labels on where each individual bowl semen is located can help you quickly identify which canister the desired straws are in. This can help prevent repeated lifting and raising canisters for identification. Semen generally is packaged in half or quarter cc straws with five per goblet and two goblets per cane. The top of the cane is marked with the cane code to identify the bowl and it may also include the bowl's common name. Work quickly when transferring canes from one tank to another, such as when receiving a shipment. Place the tank side by side to prevent canes from being out in the open air for more than five seconds during the transfer. Make sure you are out of direct sunlight and be sure to protect other canes that are not being transferred. Keep the neck plug in place and the lid closed on the tank until you are ready to retrieve the straws for thawing. Raise the canister until the cane tops are a few inches below the opening of the tank. Do not raise the canister above the frost line. We recommend that the canister should not be raised into the neck of the tank for more than 8 seconds when removing straws or looking for the right cane. If 8 seconds has passed, lower the canister back into the tank to ensure it remains fully frozen. After identifying the cane you want to retrieve the semen from, bend the identification tab to a 45 degree angle. Raise the desired cane slightly with your dominant hand while lowering the canister slightly with your non-dominant hand. Then grasp the top of the cane with your non-dominant hand so that your dominant hand removes the desired straw or straws from the cane. It will take some practice to become comfortable with this movement. Remember that your fingertips are a heat source, so only touch the straw or straws you will remove from the cane for thawing. It may be helpful to use forceps if removing only one straw for thawing. After the straws are removed, raise the canister back up slightly, return the cane to the canister, and lower the canister back fully into the tank. In order to avoid losing canes within the tank, make sure the canister is raised partially into the neck of the tank before releasing the cane. Again, the canister and tops of the other canes should not be raised above the frost line. When you have used all of the straws from the top goblet, remove the top goblet from the cane and discard it. When you have retrieved all of the straws from the bottom goblet, remove and discard the cane. Before retrieving a straw, make sure a thaw bath is prepared and at the correct temperature. As a general rule, straws should be thawed in 96 degree Fahrenheit water for a minimum of 45 seconds. Other thawing procedures may be acceptable depending on the extender used in production of the units. Electric thaw baths provide an efficient way to thaw straws. Electric thaw baths warm the water and keep the water at a constant temperature. If using an electronic heated thaw bath, make sure the unit is turned on and the unit indicates it has reached the correct temperature. If hot rather than cold water has been placed into the unit, be mindful that the water could actually be too hot. Use a thermometer or a thaw car thermometer to confirm the temperature of the water. Occasionally, these units may need calibration to keep the water at the recommended temperature. Once a straw is thawed, it is critical to maintain it at approximately 96 degrees Fahrenheit until deposited in the cow. Straws can remain in the thaw bath for some time. However, we recommend that semen be deposited into the cow within 10 minutes of thawing. Only thaw the number of straws that can be used within that time. Multiple straws can be thawed at once, but attention to detail is critical if thawing multiple straws in the same thaw unit. First, it is critical to keep straws identified within the thaw bath in order to avoid confusion or use of the wrong straw. Second, straws should not stick together in the thaw unit, as this can cause uneven or incomplete thawing of straws. Third, use caution as to the number of frozen straws placed into the unit at any one time. Each straw is essentially an ice cube that can result in temporary cooling of the water in the thaw bath. In general, we recommend thawing no more than three straws in a single thaw bath at any one time. Consider using multiple thaw baths to keep up with a rapid AI process or to avoid confusion of using multiple bowls. It is critical that AI catheters are warmed prior to straw insertion to ensure sperm survivability. An electric AI catheter warmer can be used to warm catheters before loading and can also be used to maintain temperature of loaded catheters prior to use. If you do not have an electric warmer, place the catheter inside your shirt until you are ready to load it. 
AI catheter sheets can also be tucked into your shirt to keep warm if it is cold outside. When you are ready to load an AI catheter, make sure you are out of direct sunlight in a sheltered area and work quickly to avoid exposing the straw to temperature swings. Pull the plunger back about six inches to allow for insertion of the straw into the AI catheter. Remove the straw from the thaw unit and dry it thoroughly in a doubled over paper towel. The paper towel also serves to protect the straw from ambient temperature or wind. Using scissors or a straw cutter, cut a quarter inch below the sealed end of the straw at a 90 degree angle. Insert the cotton plug end of the straw into the AI catheter and slide the plastic sheath over the catheter. Most sheaths are designed with a tip that will lock into place to prevent backflow. Once you have loaded the straw, continue to keep the catheter warm and out of direct sunlight. Either place the catheter back into the warmer or into your shirt until you are ready to use it. Remember, we recommend semen to be deposited within 10 minutes of thawing, so be sure that the animal is already positioned for AI and work efficiently when a loaded catheter is prepared.